Hello, welcome back to our next segment. I am Mrs. Ray, your grade nine maths teacher. In our last lesson, we looked at um, uh, significant figures. In today's lesson, we are going to look at scientific notation. Okay, scientific notation. Now, what is scientific notation? Okay, when writing numbers in scientific notation, we write large numbers or small numbers as a shorthand form and we express those numbers as values between 1 and 10 multiplied by a power of 10. Now, let's look at an example. Let's say if I have um, example number 1, I have um, 650,000. How do I write 650,000 in scientific notation? Okay, we said it must be a value between 1 and 10 multiplied by a power of 10. So when we look at 650,000, we can put the decimal point between the first and the second significant figure. So we count the number of places we move to the right because in whole numbers we assume that the a decimal point is at the end of the last digit. So here the first significant figure is 6 and the second significant figure is 5. So our decimal point must be between the first and the second significant figure and we count the number of places we move to the right. So we have 6.5 and we count the number of places we move to the right. One. 2, 3, 4, 5. So when we write that, that is 6.5 times 10 to the power of 5. Now, second example. We are going to write a small letter, very, very tiny letter, a number in scientific notation. So let's have 0 0.0000756. Now, the decimal point is here, but when we are writing numbers in scientific notation, we always put the decimal point between the first and the second digit, a significant figure, and we count the number of places we move to where the decimal point is. In this case, if I put my dot here, or decimal point between the first and the second significant figure, I count the number of places I move to the left to where the decimal point is. That's one, two, three, four. Now I have moved four places to the left, so this is going to be 7.56 times 10 to the power of negative four. Now, this is writing ordinary numbers as scientific notation. Okay, now in our next example, I am going to show you how to write scientific notation numbers as ordinary numbers. Okay, let's look at example three. Okay, let's say if I have um, 623 times 10 to the power of 4, if the power of 10 is a positive number, we are going to move the decimal point to the right and we count the number of places we move to the right and we stop where the last digit or where the power of 10 stops. So we have 6.23 times 10 to the power of 4. We are going to move 4 places to the right. So that's 
6.23, we move four places to the right. One, two, three, four. Now, where that gives us, I'm going to fill them up with a zero. So my answer is 62,300. So 6.23 times 10 to the power of 4 as an ordinary number is 62,300. Now, let's look at a very tiny number, which is in scientific notation, and I would like to change that to an ordinary number. So if I have um, um, 7.234 times 10 to the power of negative 5, now, since the power of 10 is a negative power, I am going to move to the left. So I have 7.234. My decimal point is here, and I'll count the number of places to the left five times. One, two, three, four, Five. This is where my decimal point is. Now, I put a zero here before the decimal point, and this is where the decimal point is. Where the caps are, I fill them with the zero. So, I have 0 0.00007234 as an ordinary number. So, I have moved five places to the left. And I fill this with a zero, so my answer as an ordinary number is 0 0.00007234. Now, we can also round numbers in standard form or scientific notation to the correct number of significant figures. Okay, let's uh, go through an example. Let's say if one hectare is equal to 10,000 square meters. Now, I would like to write um, 2.57 hectares to square meters, okay? Let's see how we can convert 2.57 hectares to square meters. Now, since one hectare is equal to 10,000 square meters. We are going to multiply 2.57 by 10,000. Okay, so I have um, 2.57 times 10,000. Okay, when we are multiplying by powers of 10, we just move the number of places to the right, depending on how many zeros they are. So since there are four zeros, I have 2.57, and I move four places to the right. One, two, three, four. Where the caps are, I fill them up with zeros. So 2.57 times 10,000 is equal to 25,700 square meters. Now, 25,700 square meters correct to two significant figures is 26,000 square meters correct to two significant figures. I can write that in scientific notation as 2.6, and I count the number of places I move to the right. So I have 2.6, and I move to the right, one, two, three, four. Okay, this is where my zeros are, so I have 2.6, times 10 to the power of four square meters. When I convert that to 
scientific notation. So my answer is 2.6 times 10 to the power of 4 square meters. Okay. Now, that brings us to the end of our lesson on scientific notation. So we have learned writing ordinary numbers as scientific notation, writing um, scientific notation numbers as ordinary numbers, and the last thing that we did was um, rounding numbers in scientific notation to the correct number of significant figures. Now, that brings us to the end of our lesson. And in our next lesson, we are going to look at directed numbers. Thank you. <laughs>